Hello everyone, so today's interview question is how to verify font color, font size, font weight and font family in Selenium WebDriver. Okay, so very useful use case and should be automated in your automation framework. So let's see with an example. So on this uh, LinkedIn homepage, let's say they have added this field, welcome to your professional community. So let's see what is the color size for this field. So just inspect that field. So on the right hand side, you will see styles, this competed, layout, all these tabs. So basically we can use these two tabs, competed and styles to get the values for the properties for this field. So you can see here, they have mentioned about the color and you can see this value is in a hex format. Okay, so value for this color can be in the hex format or RGB value. So if you go to the competed, here we have this color and you can see here, this is given in RGB format. Okay, red, green and blue. 82, 106 and 89. Similarly, we have the font size, we have font weight, right? We will have the font family as well. If you go to the styles, so here we have this font family. So all these are nothing but the CSS properties for this particular field. Okay, so we just need to get these values in our automation. So you can simply convert RGB to hex. So if we add, let's say I'm going to add this value, color value 82, 106 and 89. So this will give you the corresponding hex value 52, 6a and 59. So that is what it is showing in this styles tab 52, 6a and 59. So first we will open the Chrome browser and LinkedIn homepage and we need to locate the web element for which we want the properties. So I have used the data test ID attribute. So once element is located, let's get the font size first. So how we can get, I will use element, whatever web element you have created, dot get CSS property. Okay, CSS value. And in the bracket, you just need to provide the attribute name or property name for which we want the value. So for the font size, I need to pass font dash size. So we can directly print this value or I can store it in string value first. Similarly, let's get the font color. So for the color, I need to provide only color here. So here we are simply printing this actual values first. Let's see what values you will get. So we got the actual values. So font size is 48 pixel. Then we got the font color as 82, 106 and 110. So this is given in RGB and A. So now we can compare actual with the expected values. Here we can use the test and assertion directly or you can use the if else condition as well. So for now I have used if else condition here. So we are just checking the actual font size with the expected font size. Once it is correct, we will print this. If it is not, then we will print actual value and expected value as well. So let's check a negative case. Let's say expected font size is 50 and font color let's say 110105. So let's run it again. Okay, so we got the failure for the font size is not as expected. Actual is 48 and expected is 50. Okay, and similar for the font color. So there are a lot of fields on this page and we can't check all the properties for all other fields manually. Okay, so better to create an automation script for that. Okay, so this is how you can answer if someone asks you in the entries as well.